He is one of the founding members of a great rock band that I grew up listening to, and I'm sure you did, in the 1980s, called The Escape Club. Lead singer and rhythm guitarist Trevor Steele. Trevor, calling me from Australia tonight, my friend. Oh, I am indeed. Yeah, hi, JJ. Nice to speak to you, mate. Nice to speak to you, too, Trevor. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about your background, and who were your major musical influences growing up? Oh, me personally, I guess, well, growing up, Mm, growing up the Beatles, I guess, because my, cause my parents used to play them. But then, then I got into David Bowie pretty heavily, and then later on, David Byrne. I, I was influenced by both of those guys, mainly lyrically, I think, more than anything else. How did you get together with uh, John, Johnny, and Milan? Okay, well, we used to be in a, in a scene in London, different bands playing around. Johnny and Milan were in a band called The Espressos, and John and I were in a new romantic band called Mad Shadows. And... Um, we kind of just got together through that, really, just going around all the different gigs and working together. John and I have known each other since we were kids, though, since we were at school. Okay, great. And, and once you guys got together, what was your major influence? Like, all of you guys collaborating, coming up with different ideas. Where, where did you guys pull your musical sources from? Well, when we first started, it's strange, because we had a, a little-known album called Whitefields, which, which was never released in the U.S., which is more... I guess it was more of its time. It was more like a... We used to call it U3, really, because it was like U2 influence and all that sort of guitar rock at the time. Um, but then we sort of changed direction, and John and I had grown up listening to things like T-Rex, you know, those guys, mm -hmm. um, and, and that sort of glam rock of the 70s. So we kind of brought a little bit of that into our music and crossed it, so it became a hybrid of dance and, and rock. So we kind of... I think we... We were looking for a new sound, really. I think we were doing that in London around about the same time in excess of doing it down here in Australia. Okay, great. And then how, how did you guys come up with the group name, The Escape Club? <laughs> you know what? I've made up so many different stories for <laughs> that question. I, I've forgotten the real one. <laughs> it's, you know what it's like when you're getting a name for a band you've got 3,000 names in a list and, and to be really honest JJ it's the only one no one threatened to leave over <laughs> so where the name came from I don't know <laughs> that's great well yeah you probably had to go with the, the PG rating on the, uh, the group name I'm sure <laughs> And I know in 1988, the debut album White Fields was released there in the UK and around the world. Then later on that year, the yeah. album Wild Wild West burst onto the rock scene and a lot of radio stations took notice of the title track. How was the title track Wild Wild West invented? Back around with John was actually up one night listening to um, a couple of hip hop bands on, on, on TV. And I can't remember who it was, but he just heard this beat and he thought, oh, you know, that's a really cool beat. Let's, let's start a song with that. By the time he got to his studio, <laughs> in his mind, it had gone up a, a few beats per minute, so it was like twice the speed of the original track. <laughs> so, so I came around the following day and, and heard it, and we, and we just started writing over that. I just started scatting on the verses, and, and seriously, it came together in about an hour. It was really quick song. Wow, because I, I remember hearing that on radio stations here in Los Angeles. It was a huge hit in California. Yeah, it, it was everywhere. We were really lucky with that. That kind of saved our lives, really, because we were struggling a little bit before then. We had our own sort of small cult following or whatever, but this one just broke us right through. And Trevor, i gotta, I got to admit, I still remember the music video, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was another re really good thing for us because that was in the days of MTV and, you know, and, and a video could really do do a lot for a band. And I think at the, in, the, in the time it was pretty cutting edge. We were using um, fairground mirrors to distort bodies and all that sort of stuff. So it came up with these creepy images, you know, which would be easy to do these days with computers, but back in those days it was hard. <laughs> and how did you guys come up with the, uh, the great tune, Who Do You Love? I love that tune. Oh, who do you love? I can't remember coming up with that. It was probably from a jam in the in the in the rehearsal room, I guess, because it's a very sort of rock and roll sort of vibe. But again, that was that was done with with a bit of influence from T Rex, I think. I think mean, that's when we were really in that period. And uh, one of my all time favorite uh, tunes, Trevor, was the tune "I'll Be There." How did you guys come up with that beautiful song? That was such a great, great arrangement and a great tune. How was that song? How did that song come about? Oh, well, that was, we were, we were actually recording our third album there. We were actually in California at the time. Um, and everyone was saying, hey, guys, you need a ballad, you know, and we're like, oh, okay, I guess we better write one, you know. So again, John and I sat um, and, and messed around with a few chords and the melody and everything. And the guys went off to a restaurant or a bar or something that night, and I remember a friend of ours' wife had died, um, and we were all pretty cut up about it. And I, and I was thinking about, well, maybe I should write it from her point of view, singing to him, so... Um, and I was thinking about my own girlfriend at the time and all those sorts of things. So I just started writing these lyrics 
Um, and I left them on the on the table and went to bed because I had an early night. And John said he came in later and yeah, I don't know if this was true or not, <laughs> but he said oh, I saw a shaft of light shining down on these lyrics and well, that was it. It just looked like a hit there and then. So maybe he was right. <laughs> I know you guys are excited to be on tour right now. I know you guys are doing a show there uh, in Australia. What are you? What, what kind of new material are you, are you guys working on right now? Well, we've got a new album called Celebrity. That John and I are the, the, the last remaining members of the band. Um, Milan and Johnny are doing their own thing back in the UK. So, so John and I are now in Australia with a friend of ours called Red, who we've known since school. He lives in Los Angeles, so he's playing drums with us. Um, and Celebrity is the first album we've done in, oh, I don't know, it's about... 15 years, I think. We, we just got together. John and I have been producing up to that point um, different artists and everything, and we just had all these songs coming out of us, and we thought, well, hey, look, it's about time we got a new Escape Club album out. So we got together in the studio and put it together, and we're really pleased with it. It's come out amazingly well. Um, so that's coming out in February in the U.S., um, and, um, yeah, go out and buy it, folks. And uh, if you would like more information on the band Escape Club and Trevor Steele, you can always go to their website at theescapeclub.net. Trevor Steele of the band The Escape Club, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome, JJ. Thank you very much for talking to me.